the. Uh, but I we're found, talking before this. We're talking about the Kindle single. Okay, so so basically. Because this is not a Kindle single. No, 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 no. Okay, so what? I'll tell. You. Freddie has two books. No, no. He has one, which is a Kindle single, which is not technically a book. No. So first, what's a Kindle single? It's this thing where it's on uh, Amazon where they're mini books, not a magazine, bigger than a magazine bigger article. Bigger than a magazine article. Smaller than a book. But smaller, okay. than, a smaller book. than a book. And, and uh, so I sent this book. It's, a, and it's for people who <laughs> a magazine article is not enough for them. <laughs> like when they finish a magazine article... They're like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? <laughs> but they go, but I don't want a book. But a book? <laughs> yeah, a book would be much. too much. Jesus. But why was that yeah. not in... Right. I want something in the middle. So it's Just something right. between, like, David Sedaris talking about uh, how Sean he, Heston and their lovers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, uh, Which, but they weren't, but that was a joke. But that was, a, yeah. <laughs> but how he was Charlton Heston's lover. Yeah, I tried reading Sedaris. They go, you got it, you got it. And I keep trying, and it's, I just never get past the, hey, me and him. One time, I, I remember they were asking Larry Miller, you know the comedian Larry Miller? I know the comedian Larry Miller. Who his biggest influence was in comedy. He said, James Thurber. <laughs> <laughs> He's a humorist. Yeah, well, a humorist. speaking of humorist, uh, I, could, I could connect it to Kendall Single. So I uh, had this book already in my computer. And the guy goes, hey, this is good, but it's more than a Kindle. Uh, how, how could this be a Kindle Single? So there was a chapter about writing on Seinfeld and not fitting in and being a mm -hmm. schmuck. And uh, and so I said, you know the movie My Favorite Year? Sure. Mine's Great called movie. My Seinfeld Year because it wasn't that. Because oh. I wasn't the best year. Yeah. You know, here I'm the best show in TV and it's great, which I guess I didn't even see. I didn't see that. I mean, I, I didn't, didn't see that. I, I, didn't see the, I keep referring no, to No, I saw My Favorite Year. Yeah. No, My but, Seinfeld Year. I mean, my I, Seinfeld Year, I never saw that as... I never realized that that was what it was. It probably wasn't. Of. It would work a lot better if Seinfeld rhymed with favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Norm, you're in this book a lot. Uh, what? You're in this book a lot. No, 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 Did you no, guys no, have no, some no. bad blood or something? What? No, 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 there's wait. one. Well, there's one chapter here simply titled "Norm Stole My Jacket." No, no, no. That's that's a euphemism for he had me back. Uh, he had my back when I worked on his show. <sighs> All right, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess. yeah. He. Uh, I have not read your book because I was reading Robert Blake. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. But you, I told him to read your book so that one of us would have read your book. He did tell me to read your book. He did. I'm not going to. Um, but this will be great, actually, because you can tell us now stories from the book well, that we have. Yeah, you have some fantastic. We'll every time I hear you on a, on a podcast, and you've been you've done a lot, and you're always a solid guest, and I love to hear something. <laughs> you're doing like he's going. Do what you do on the other ones. Be better. No, in all seriousness, I heard you on the Todd Glass one. I was laughing my ass off. I, uh, I'll be honest, that's the only so one. So can I we take play but... clips of that, and I can lip sync them? <laughs> no, you have great stories. Thank you. you thank have you. Great so stories. Much. You were thank telling you. us some great stories. Okay. Um, no, so but that's not how you... I'm <laughs> saying he was... No, what I'm but saying is he like does have great stories. that's like that show Comics Only. Hey, this is not stand-up. This is conversation. So, you go on the road a lot. Yeah, what do you do? We watch TV. You know that one commercial? AIDS. But it's not AIDS because of the disease. So, they changed it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, or... He'd want to set you up for your... Oh. What about the time... This was what I heard. <laughs> because I was on... Uh, uh, Byron Allen's comics unleashed, and they say go crazy. They go crazy, and the comics could. No, you could not rich. have been more leashed. Yeah, exactly. Like you had to submit your jokes to six different it's levels hard. before. They, but then he had no uh, ability to segue. So it's like Robert Schimmel, what's going on with you? He's like, what's going on with me? I'm fucking my own niece, and my, my, my fucking I'm dying of brain cancer, and all this. Stuff. And then he goes, oh man, Norm, I understand you have a dog, and so uh, <laughs> none of it would segue. But the funniest question is, he said, he said to John Lovitz, this was his question. He goes, he's reading off a card. He goes, now John. I understand you're growing older. <laughs> I was on, the segment producer did that for him. Well, I was on Paul Preventa had one called Comics Only. Yes, and Fred was, Wolf was the, the sidekick segment. who people still think I am. Andy Dick still goes, "Hey, Fred, you got that movie with Spade?" I go, "Yeah, it's going good." <laughs> I never correct him. You know, he thinks I'm writing to people think I'm Geechee guy. Which Whoa, is, oh, Geechee guy. Yeah, which is a compliment. You know, the people Geechee guy. I did Comics Only. Uh, no, no. What was it called? That uh, the one, that was uh, the, 
the A list. Only the top five thousand comics got them. Right. But they used to call it a list. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was at the Laugh Factory, the one that Wayne Cotter. Oh, you got to This is what I guess that sets him up for great stories. <laughs> no, the I, plane ride with Wayne Cotter. With what? The plane ride you took with Wayne Cotter. Oh, that Wayne was Cotter funny. was hosting. I forgot about that. All right, I'm stealing his story. He was hosting um, <laughs> Comic Strip Live, which which is on Saturday night, and then. Uh, Someone, they're going to... Uh, it ran from 11 till midnight on Fox. Right, so they're going to Montreal Comedy Festival. And someone but explain them, to the folks, this was a show, just like all those other shows, where it was uh, four comics would do their stand-up act, and you would have an MC, right? Do you remember... And the MC the, was, was Wayne Cotton. And the, and the evening at the Improv was on twice a night on the History... No, no, on A&E. Yes. It, was, it was like during jury duty. You would have to do all these shows you didn't want to do. So they're talking about... Um, Saturday Night Live, and his show is again, he goes, hey, how you doing? Hey, uh, what's in the news? And he brings up comics. And so then he... Um, so Chris Farley had the, that, the Saturday before done the Chippendale sketch. Oh, right, yeah. So, uh, okay, they, see, you made the story better because you were there. So uh, I'm... And I wasn't story. on Saturday Night Live either. No, but someone was saying... So hey, we were discussing, me and Wayne Cotter on the plane. Did, did you see Saturday Night Live? Come on, please. Well, I, I he left to the bathroom. I said to Wayne Cotter, did you see uh, Farley oh, yeah. last week? He did this Chippendale sketch where he was a dancer. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. And then he got up in a huff and went to the bathroom. And then his wife said, you know that's his competition. <laughs> okay, I did it wrong. <laughs> because because it's not live as the competition. Yeah, or I MC. thought it was like, we don't talk about yeah. that. <laughs> you know, I, uh, yeah, yeah. And then I asked, just recently, I asked... Um, um, I said, whatever happened to uh, Wayne Cotter to Jamie Masada? And he said, he on the computer now. <laughs> That's time, not how he talked. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, like I was going to say to you.